I want to welcome you back to our discussion on sharing Christ with other people, letting them know how good he is, what he wants to do in their hearts and lives. I've been visiting with Wayne Jenkins, who is Director of Evangelism for the Louisiana Baptist Convention and has trained many, many people in sharing Christ with others. And uh, Wayne, we're going to turn a corner now. Okay. Uh, That's right. And we've been really talking about deeply spiritual things, place and role of prayer, the place and role of the Holy Spirit. And, and these are deeply spiritual things. And right. now we're going to begin to get into some practical things. That's exactly right. And we have really a good bridge here because the bridge is sharing your testimony. That's right. Because that is deeply spiritual, but at the same time, it's very practical. And so we're, th this is a great bridge. And so a as we get into these practical things, I want to encourage people, I want to encourage you not to forget the spiritual things, you know, and just go out and do the practical. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to get into these practical things. Let me share why I think it's a bridge. Uh, in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11, the Bible talks about a future event, and you know, Revelation is about the future, right. but it talks about the victory of the believer, and it says, they overcame him, talking about Satan, by the blood of the Lamb, which is the message, the word of their testimony, and that they love not their lives even unto death. And there's something powerful Extremely about powerful. the testimony, that it shatters <laughs> Satan's forces, his power, just when you share your testimony. Whenever I preach, when I do evangelistic meetings, every time you'll hear me share my testimony. I might do it in a different way each time, but I share my testimony because I know the power of it. And uh, so I want us to talk about sharing our testimonies and how, how to do it. Because a lot of people don't really know where to start, how to share their testimony. Because we talked about clarity, and I think the testimony needs to be very clear for exactly. it to be powerful. So. How do we do that? All right, first of all, we need to know exactly what you said. It's effective. It is extremely effective, your, your personal testimony. It, it has authority. Uh, people might be able to, might try to refute God's word or something, but they're, it, it, like the, like the uh, man who was healed and he says, all I know is I was blind and now I see. Yeah. They couldn't refute yeah. his, his testimony of what had taken place. The same is true with, with you and me. It communicates. People like stories. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're talking about something that people want to hear. Uh, you don't have to memorize it. It's, it's you. It's a part of you. So it's, it, it flows, and, and it's a good story to tell. It relates. Everybody has had a void. Everybody has a void in their life. Right. And everybody is empty. Uh, we've got this God-shaped vacuum. And so he, he, you're telling how God feels it, you mm -hmm. know. So it, it relates. Now, now, before we go on, move past that, let me just say, because I think there's some people who grew up in Christian families, grew up in Christian homes, going to church, uh, and, and they came to Christ at a young age and say, my testimony doesn't relate to people uh, because, you know, I wasn't any drug addict, I wasn't in prison, I wasn't, you know, some... Right. But, but the relating is not those things. The relating is the emptiness that That's we right. all have. That's exactly that right? right. So, That's and I just exactly want right. to bring that out because I think everybody needs to know they have a story to share. That's right. And when we, and when we get in this is second session, we'll talk specifically about how does a person write one that's that's been. Uh, in, in a Christian home and growing up in a Christian home and, and who has a, a fear of that. I don't have one of these outstanding tests. Yes, he does, but we'll talk, we'll okay. talk about okay. that. Okay. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's powerful because your, your story can impact uh, an unbeliever. Just like what you said every time you preach uh, on one of these crusades, you share your story. It makes an impact on the lives of those people who hear the story and they say, hey, look, if God can do that for him, God can do it for me. So I think it's that kind of impact. And the other thing is, it's always with you. I, I may not always have a Bible on me. I may not always have a track on me, but I've always got my story of mm -hmm. what Christ did in my life. Right. So those are things that make it an extremely effective tool. Okay. Now, there's some tips for writing. And now, first of all, we ought, we ought to all write our testimony out. Okay. So you're talking about writing it out so that you have it kind of down clearly? Yeah. And so, okay. So all you right. can do it in about 200, 250 words or less. Uh, if you can do it like that, you, or, or 
you're talking about a three or four minute testimony that you can give to people at any any time, you know. And uh, you, you need to write it down to know where you're beginning, where you're going, where you won't ramble and, and get caught in a lot of travel log and right. that kind of okay, thing. Okay, so give us some of those All tips. Right. Uh, we're going to give you in the next one a simple outline from the scriptures. And so, so it'll be simple. Uh, you, you're going to be brief. That's what we just said. Keep it, keep it short. Two, okay. two, three, four minutes. Uh, we've got to be conversational. It's not going to be stiff. It's not going to be formal. And and you're not going to use uh, what we would say is church lingo or, or church words. There's some things that you need. We, we've, we've, we've had difficulty, you and I, even here, right here talking. We talk about lost, and then we have to go back and say the unbeliever, the person. What, what that means. What that be. means. And so you, you have to make sure that you speak in such a way that you don't use some of your churchy words that, that, that is they not, don't want to understand. It's okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. I found, Wayne, it, it's okay if, if you explain that, but most people, a lot of the terminology we use, people don't understand what we're talking about. And so, even, even using a word like salvation, uh, it's such a good word, and we, we understand right. that. That that, that that person may not understand that, but it, 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 if you talk about committing your life to Christ and coming to Christ and having your life changed and transformed, right. that communicates better than just the word salvation. It explains all of that. Right. You, know, right. you, know, you, you need to emphasize in your testimony not how wicked you were, but how wonderful Christ is. So remember that. That's what we want to do. And, and, and boy, this is important. And yeah. again, it goes back to that thing of, oh, I was nine, 10 years old when I really gave my life to Christ. Well, you're emphasizing how good God is, That's not right. how bad you right. were. So go, go ahead. And then, and then be specific. Now, don't get caught up in a lot of travelogue, but be specific about, uh, here's the way my life was, but here's the, what he's done to change me. Not, not my life is better since. Mm. But what, what, how is it better let them know some specific things that God has done for you. It, it, it may in, involve even, even some physical healing. It may, it may be emotional healing. It could be anything that you could, you could say, here are some things that specifically God has or done for me. Or a particular change, like, particular for instance, change. racial attitudes for That's me. That's exactly that right. God changed, for, for me, a lot of attitudes and uh, racially. And, of course, I, I grew up in a racially charged time. Yeah. So, uh so those specific things. What else? Don't don't be in your in the process. Do not be negative towards other denominations or, or church groups or, or religious groups. groups. That you know, we're, we're, never not, we're, we're, we're not preaching to people. We're no. sharing our story. We're sharing our story. Right. And so you don't want to get into that and get lost into that. Right. The the other thing is uh, don't don't be shocked when you're dealing with somebody and and they start sharing the way they live and say, oh my God. You yeah. live that way, you know. Mm -hmm. don't, don't be shocked. Just say, just you're telling your story. Yeah. And just keep moving on. And I think the other thing is to relive your story. You and I were in a meeting uh, at a college, and the college president, I remembered, was going to share his testimony at our request. We knew what it was. He started off with some three by five cards and started reading it, and then, then in the process, started reliving it sort of discarded the cards, and, and when he got through, he, he, he had tears in his eyes, and he was not a real emotional guy. And, and the student body, when he got through, began to applaud. They had never heard the story before, yeah. and it was, it was amazing. Yeah. The, the, the thing I think that I want to leave everyone with is this. You have a story. If you know Christ, you have a story. Now, if you don't know Christ and you're just religious, then you don't have a story. That's but right. if, if you truly know Christ, you've trusted him to come into your life, forgive your sins, change your life, that has happened, you put your faith in him, and, and you begin to follow him, then you have a story. And your story is unique, your story is powerful, and you need to be sharing that story Amen. with other people. Now, in our next session, we're going to give you some real practical tips on how to share that story, and you'll be able to, I think, walk away with, with being able to do that. So I hope that you'll take this today and uh, let God use you. Begin to pray. Begin to think about your story. Begin to write it down, and uh, we'll, in the next session, give you some things that will help you to do that.